بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين المعهد السعودي للإلكترونيات والأجهزة المنزلية يرحب بكم في برنامجه المتخصص للتعليم عن بعد I am introducing the idea of distance learning for, for those who are missing the classes during the, the coming period and as we know that this distance period plan will be available every day so, they can, so that students can go to the links and the website and they can see and train and uh, follow up what they are missing during the normal classes during the working hours. For each major we have our instructors available and they will tell you exactly what to do during this following period and they will, they will introduce to you some of the missing lectures and uh, practical things, available presentations, videos, so please, all the students and trainees, follow up the instructions from your instructors. WhatsApp is available. If you have any questions, you can reply to your instructor through WhatsApp, or you can contact the personal people or the student affairs uh, instructors, student affairs employees, or the counseling and guidance if you have any problem understanding anything. Now I will introduce our coordinators for the majors to tell you brief about their plan for the next or the coming days. Yes, please, Mr. Julito. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, good morning. I'm the coordinator of our uh, electric home appliances and air conditioning. I'm Mr. Julito. And also I'm an instructor for uh, air conditioning maintenance and repair. So we are the uh, making this as an alternative uh, learning method for to, to, to continue to serve our students of Saudi Electronics and Home Appliances Institute. So to continue uh, serving you as our students, so we are regularly up, uh, uploading videos, learning videos <coughs> to our website, CI website, so that you can continue uh, your uh, study. And you can have uh, follow-up questions through WhatsApp, so we can communicate in our uh, WhatsApp group. So for uh, air conditioning, we will uh, upload some like uh, maintenance and repair, starting from installation, air conditioning, speed AC, window AC, and uh, refrigerant recovery, retrofitting and repair, uh, refrigerant uh, recovery. So all this. Uh, learning uh, methods so we will uh, upload in our uh, website so that we can you can uh, continue even you are at home so you can view videos through our website so thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much mr julito and now mr nadim he will introduce the same idea for you but for the bc and office equipment major Welcome, Mr. Nadim. <coughs> Thank you very much. Hi, good morning to all of you. I am Nadim, I am Nadim Usman Malim. Okay, and my name, I am the coordinator uh, for PC and OE, uh, for the computer and office equipment. And uh, today, just I want to inform you about the tech life. We have planned something, and inshallah, it will be helpful for you to, like, um, for IT skills. We have, we will upload all the necessary uh, information about Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access, Outlook. So you can do the practice at home. You will get all the videos, activities, uh, and uh, learning material on our website. So it will be very helpful for you. So just take a time and do your study uh, about uh, PCO uh, computer technology two subject. Uh, we will put all the material about laptops, uh, how to assemble, disassemble, how to install operating system, and uh, how you will be familiar like uh, with uh, Windows environment and Linux also. At the same time, you can find many things in on the side. Uh, and if you require any help, we are there to help you. Uh, at any time, if you want to WhatsApp us, you can contact us on WhatsApp, and that's it. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Nadim. And now, electromechanical coordinator, he will talk to you about his plan for the electromechanical students, Mr. Nadim. Please. We are making these uh, videos for you so that we can uh, continue our learning in electromechanical and uh, continuously as planned in, uh, in our curriculum, uh, in our course. We have an uh, internal combustion engine, we have uh, a mechanical drive and uh, fluid power subject and the fundamentals of power generation. We are going to make videos for this. So please uh, always uh, be updated uh, in our website so that you will be uh, uh, also uh, updated in, uh, in our daily lectures or lessons that uh, we are going to give in a uh, form of uh, presentation and videos. So uh, you just uh, click uh, the link or uh, contact us in our uh, WhatsApp if we will have uh, some, uh, uh, they call this a uh, uh, contact numbers for, you know, for connecting so that we can uh, uh, convey the uh, lectures or the topics that we will give you. Okay. Uh, in a, Internal combustion engine. We will continue uh, to study the uh, <coughs> piston that we have uh, already started, uh, and then we will proceed to the cylinder head servicing in uh, mechanical drives and fluid power. We will uh, start with the basics of hydraulics, and in fundamentals of power generation, it will be given. Uh, by uh, Mr. Shah. Uh, so please uh, be updated and uh, please always be in contact with us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Lim. Well, I appreciate what everybody is doing. Now we will talk to Mr. Ariel, academic coordinator. He will talk to you about the electronics major and first year program. Good morning. You can never stop an educator to educate his students if he wants to. He never stop a learner from educating himself if he needs to. My name is Ariel Lacambra Liasos and I am the academic coordinator of SEHI. Today we will be doing some video presentations of our lectures to be uploaded on our websites. So students, if you want to take part of it, please check our websites for your lessons. Thank you very much. Uh, for the academic coordinator, yes, we will talk about we have we have the electronics major, so the same course will be covered by the electronics instructors, and we have also the first year program. First year program mainly is the English uh, extensive course with the other courses. So Mr. Ariel here will be responsible for the follow up with you with the other courses, and the English instructors will continue teaching you all the requirements so that you will be updated with all the English updates and it will, you will feel like you are in your class. Now Mr. Juma will introduce the idea for the English and then we will have a small lecture from Mr. Hazim. This is the starting for all the people. I hope that even batch 11 they can make use of the English uh, courses because you will never stop learning English even though you are away from or you passed already the first year program but I think it will be useful for everybody. For, uh, for the other courses like electronics, like digital design, like uh, measurements, I think those courses will be also covered by Mr. Area and his group. So you will continue watching and monitoring the updates on the website and through WhatsApp and whatever available channels, even you can call us through our mobiles and we will answer all the questions required and we hope that with this available uh, facility, you will continue studying and you will never stop or, be, or feel that, okay, time is passed, why I'm not uh, updating my information, everything will be available to you and uh, all the instructors will be providing you with lectures, video or audio or 
using the PowerPoint presentations or some of the notes will be provided to you. Please follow up all the instruction, all the instructions. Now Mr. Jumar will introduce as an English coordinator, will introduce his plan for English and then we will have our first lecture by Mr. Hazim. Thank you very much everybody. Yes. Hello, good morning. My name is Mr. Jomar. I am the coordinator of the English program. So our program mainly focuses on uh, the duration of using the interchange book, which we cover from units, units 1 to 16. So for now, we are going to begin with unit 5, which will be uh, going to be started by Mr. Hazem. And we are going to uh, discuss the different uh, topics that we had started from the previous lessons. So here at Sehai, we are not just going to focus mainly on the classroom lessons or classroom lectures, but we can be able to do interactive learning. So learning can be in different ways. So we are going to focus much more on how are we going to let the students understand the lessons, not just inside the classroom with the interaction with the instructor, but also through videos, through the links that could be sent to you or via WhatsApp. And for all interactions or for all uh, questions that you can or that you would like to ask from us, you can directly contact also your instructors if you have your group WhatsApp with them. So uh, for our first uh, topic, our, it, we're not just going to focus much on uh, the inter interchange book. We also have the lessons for the writing and definitely for our speaking topics. So the speaking tasks also can be sent, or the videos can be sent, and at the same time, t topics for writing, so that you can also learn the basics or the process on how are you going to write <coughs> simple paragraphs or composition writing. So uh, thank you very much. I hope that you are going to learn from us while we are going to conduct these lessons from, for all of us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Jumar. I hope and I expect that all our trainees will follow the instructions, will go to the website daily basis, make some timing for you. Don't leave it open. For example, you can say, okay, every day from 10 to 12, from 10 to 4, from 10 to 1, I will go to the website and I will follow the lectures. I will read whatever notes are available. I will follow whatever whatever more presentations are there. If I have questions, I can ask through student affairs, through counseling and guidance, or directly to the instructor through WhatsApp messages, or even by making phone calls. We are all here to help you and make your mission successful until the end of this, until you recover and come back to the normal classes. Now, we will have our first lecture to be offered by Mr. Hazen, and from tomorrow, we will have lectures from all majors and directions from all the instructors available. Please follow up. Don't hesitate to, to ask questions. Please go to the website on daily basis and see whatever available there for you. Don't discontinue your training because this is part of your duty. It is not vacation. It is off days because of certain reason, but you have to follow whatever available ways of uh, teaching and training. Now we will come Mr. Hazem for his first lecture. This is directed to all, batch 11 and batch 12, because studying English will never stop. Thank you very much. Yes, Mr. Hazem. Good morning, my students. This is Mr. Hazem, an English teacher at the Saudi Electronics and Home Appliances Institute. Yes, uh, today we will start uh, with our first lesson. As you see, our board here or our whiteboard is designed to do three parts. The first part is assigned for the new vocabulary. Then we have a middle one which is assigned for the title. So today we are going to focus on the present continuous tense, as you see, in unit five. Then we have the learning objectives. As you see, we have three main objectives. The first one is to know what is meant by the present continuous tense. Then, how we can make yes-no questions using the present continuous tense, and also how we can make very rich question work. As you see here, we have the grammatical rule, which is mainly based on our topic, which is 
the present continuous tense. As you see, our present continuous tense is consisting of am, is, or are, plus the verb plus ing. For more explanation, here we have, if we have a subject like I, so I should be accompanied with am. So I have to say I am. Okay? If I have a subject as he, she, or it, so it's gonna be taken with is. If we have we, you, they as our main subject, so they are going to be taken with are. So what's next? So am is are plus the verb plus ing. For more explanation, we have an example here as you see. The first example here is I. Our subject is I. So, I should take verb to be as am. I am. Then we have a verb like study. It's our verb here. Plus ing. So, I am studying English now. One more example. He. So now we change the subject to I into he. So I have to change verb to be from am to is. So he is studying English now. One more example. They. Here we have plural subject like they. Okay? So I have to change verb to be am, is, into are. They are studying English now. So these are our three main examples based on how to make a sentence in the present continuous tense. Something we have to mention first, which is what is meant by the present continuous tense? It means we are expressing about something which is happening right now. So either you hear it or you see it uh, in front of your eyes. So as you see, we have on the left side of the board, we have key words. For each test that we have studied before, we have some words through which we can acknowledge or identify that tense itself. For example, at the moment, at this time, now, right now, currently. So any of these words is called key words. Whenever I see any of them in our sentence, we say that we are speaking about or we are using the present continuous tense. So, what is marking the present continuous tense? As you see in each sentence here, we have something which is, you know, clear, like ing. Here we have ing. Also we have ing. So, whatever that verb to be is. We have to get the verb plus I in G. Okay? So, right now we are going to know how to make yes no question. So, we have to. Yes. Now we will write an example taken from these previous examples to make yes no question. For example, I am studying English now. How can I make yes no question with you here? So what? Uh, first of all we have to look at the subject and verb to be just to make cross. Okay, so M should be converted into R. The I should be transferred into U. So are you then studying English as an object? Now, here we have a sentence, but here we have question. So it should be ended with question word. So, are you studying English now? Are you? Either yes or no. Okay, so one answer here is yes. Yes what? Then we have to change between verb to be and, or the cross between verb to be and the subject. So yes, I am. Okay, 
One would answer as that equal to what is no, I am not. Okay? So let's have one more example. If we say he is eating his lunch. Okay? How can we make yes no question here? As we mentioned before, we have to make cross between verb to be and the subject he. Instead of he is, it's gonna be is he. So again, is he, then the verb eating, then his as pronoun, then we have the object as lunch. Ended with question word, so it's gonna be what? Is he eating his lunch now? Okay, as we mentioned before, we have to answer. Either you say yes or no. So, yes, he is. One more answer. Yeah, no, he isn't. Or, no, he is not. Okay, so this is how to make yes, no question. Okay, looking at the smart board, as you see here, this is our page, page 32, in unit 5. Okay, don't forget that, please. Starting with the grammatical rule, the one that we explained on the whiteboard, then we have some examples. Part A, as a practice, complete these phone conversations using the present continuous. We have two conversations, the first one and the second one. The first one is followed with this dialogue. Okay, in the picture we have a man and a woman. Okay, the lady's name is Stephanie, the man's name is Mark. Okay. Yeah, once more again, okay, as we have just mentioned right now, we have two conversations. The first one is having Stephanie, our young girl. Then we have the young boy's man, I mean the young boy's name who is Mark. Okay, Stephanie, here Mark starts saying what? Mark is asking Stephanie, hi Stephanie, what? Yes, okay. So here, Mark is asking Stephanie, he's talking to her, saying what? Hi Stephanie, what space you space do? Okay, here we have a subject as you. So verb to be here is going to be what? Am, is, or are. Yes. So since I have you, it's going to be what, are, you. Then we have the verb. Don't forget that what is marking the present continuous tense is ing. So the verb plus ing. Back again. What are you? Is it do? No. Doing. So what are you doing? Okay. So, hey, Mark, I space stand. Here the subject is I. So the verb between is going to be what? M is or are. No, it's am, since I have I. I am stand as a verb followed with ing. I am standing in an elevator. And it's stuck. Doesn't stop. I mean, it doesn't move anymore. Oh no. Are you okay? Yeah. I space, I mean I, we have dash, wait. It is space move. 
I have a subject as it. So verb to be is what? Is instead of am or are. It is, then we have move. Don't forget that. Whenever we have the verb is ending with e. So when we have ing, it's gonna be like this. Move, omit the letter e, then add ing. So it's moving. Okay? So again, it is moving. Thank goodness. Okay, one more example, I mean one more conversation here. In the second one, as you see, we have a young girl whose name is Marcy. And she's talking to her family. One of her family, actually. Who is her mother? So, Marcy is saying what? How? How is this you adjusted? Oh my God. Do I have singular or plural? <coughs> singular. Subject or plural subject? No, it's a plural subject. Why? Because I have you and Justin. So, how? Can I say how it is? Of course not. How are you and Justin? Then I have a verb as enjoy. It's going to be what? Yes, enjoy. Okay. How are you and Justin enjoying your shopping trip? Okay. Then here we have an answer. We, yes, don't forget. We have to take into our minds the subject. It's plural subject now, yes. We is, of course not. We am, of course not. We are, yes. Okay, so back again to our second conversation. Yes, we said that here we have an answer. We, it's plural subject. We are, then we have a verb as have. It's so gonna be what? Have, but it's not, it's having. We are having a lot of fun. Then, your brother, huh? your brother space spent a lot of money. Yes, it's again, yes, no question. Your brother is singular or plural subject? Singular. Okay, so it's gonna be taken with am, is, or are. Yes, it's is. Is your brother, then we have to spend. Spending. So, is your brother spending a lot of money? No, mom, he. So, what is the helping you be here? It's is. Why? Because we have he as singular pronoun. So he is, is it buy? Buys? It's not, it's buying. He is buying only one or two things, that's all. Okay, it's about our second conversation as you see. Now we have, we have come, yes, we have come to the end of our lesson right now. For more explanation and more preps, we can be back again to the workbook, page 25, exercise 2 exactly. Again, in exercise 2 we have a conversation. It's about the same idea that we have just explained right now. Complete this conversation, use the present continuous tense of the verbs given. Okay, so it has the same idea that we can apply in our lesson. Okay, right now we have come to the end of our lesson. Again, as I mentioned, Okay, or as a reminder, it's about the present continuous tense. Don't forget that our rule here is M is R. And what is marked in the present continuous tense? Then any other tense is the ING. Okay, never, never forget this. Thanks so much.